Hey guys, Dr. Kamel here. Got a new uh, suturing technique, cerclage technique for any round bone comminuted fracture. Uh, I learned this technique from one of my orthopedic colleagues who used this uh, technique originally uh, arthroscopically uh, by a surgeon named Peter Millet. Uh, he used this arthroscopically to fix any clavicle fracture um, that was comminuted and he'd like to use uh, an arthroscopic technique and it's called the rolling hitch uh, technique. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can use this on any round bone uh, fracture that's easy to pass suture around. Here is a case of a young girl who had a pretty bad fifth metatarsal fracture. Let's take a look here at the AP first. This is an example case in which I used the hitch stitch for fixation. And here is the medial oblique view. Classically, when I see these fifth metatarsal fractures, they always seem to be worse intraoperatively than these pre-op uh, x-rays show. And here is the lateral view. Now we're gonna see a couple CT scans to show the severity and the amount of comminution in this fifth metatarsal fracture. Here is the CT in the uh, coronal view. And you can start to see the fifth metatarsal, uh, how comminuted the fracture is and how it's useful to gather the fragments together with the circulage technique before applying the fixation plate. And here is the sagittal CT. Again, you can see the level of comminution as you go through the fifth metatarsal shaft. Now taking a look here at the uh, first intraoperative photo uh, via fluoroscopy, you can start to appreciate even more the amount of comminution that is involved in this fifth metatarsal fracture. After dissection, fracture exposure, and manual reduction, we've set ourselves up now for the fiber wire rolling hitch cerclage technique. You can see here the fifth metatarsal is reduced, brought out to length, and is now fixated with three suture cerclages. In this image, you can see the approximate location that I've placed the sutures. Now here it is after we've placed a plate um, over our fracture. Uh, I always like to add a plate over these for added fixation distally and, prox and proximal to the uh, comminuted fracture. And here is a lateral image. As you can see, I had just a little room for two screws proximally and one screw distally. I reinforced the plate to bone with two more suture cerclages, as indicated here with the red markings. The patient has been doing very well and has had great outcomes given the level of comminution that she had originally. All right, so now I'm gonna show uh, the technique. So after you, so I'm gonna do this example for a fifth metatarsal shaft fracture. Um, <clears throat> so after you've uh, done your dissection, you've revealed the fracture, you've cleaned out the site and you're ready to reduce, you take your suture what I have here is uh, nylon, but I would recommend using a 2-0 or a 3-0 fiber wire. You bring the two ends together like this. You see you have a loop on this side. You take your loop. And I like to use a 90 degree hemostat, but for these purposes, this straight hemostat will be okay. You bring the loop in on one side. You grab it, pull it around. And we'll say that our fracture side is around here. You take your loop and you make this loop just like this. So it kind of look like a lasso. You take your two ends and you're gonna take the two ends and pass it through your lasso like so. Once you've done that, you pull everything through. Make sure to align your loop, your cerclage right at the fracture site. Take the two ends, pull them apart, and cinch, and cinch it together until you get the, the adequate tightness. 
that you want and adequate reduction. Once it's tightened, you can throw some hand ties to reinforce. So, just like that. Two or three ties will be adequate to hold down your knot. And after you've done that, you can cut your knot short. And that's it. After you've done that, you can trace. So if you have a comminuted fracture, you take two broken pieces, make them into one with this cerclage uh, technique, and move your way down so you have one big solid bone. I like to put a plate over this, <clears throat> which I can also reinforce with the suture uh, cerclage technique over the bone uh, to fixate onto the bone if you ha if you don't have enough spots for screws. Maybe you'll have a spot distal and a spot distal and a spot proximal, but over the middle where the combination is, you can use this over the bone.